time today. Today we're going to start on a beef short rib dish. Oh, kind of like a stew. We've got some nice boneless beef short ribs here. And to start off, we're going to go ahead and brown them off here in a little Dutch oven. So let me uh, get some tongs. I'm going to go ahead and start this process. I got some oil heating here. You know, you're on about, get on about medium high, high heat. Just gonna brown these sides. Then put them in like this. Get them browned up. Get a little more in there. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Let's get those. Let's brown about four minutes. We'll have to add them. We'll flip it. Now it's just been going a few minutes. Let me go ahead and give them a flip. Make sure they're nice. Golden, you that nice browning on that side. There we go. Get that good fat rendered down to it. I'll go ahead and cook on this side for a few minutes. Okay, now that these are browned up, I'm going to go ahead and remove these and set them on the side, brown the other couple of ones that I've got in the, in the pan. That's pretty good. Nice little brown on there. Put the new one in. There it goes. It's in the brown. Okay, now I took the meat out. I turned it down to medium heat. See all the nice flying on the bottom? We'll go ahead and put in about two onions fluffed it up. Mix these in. This is going to help to deglaze this. And we're going to cook these onions down for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, get these onions all nice and cooked down. They're going to have a lot of good flavor to this dish. You now see how those onions are pulling that beautiful color off the bottom of that pan? All that flan? That's good, good. It's just what you want to see. Move them around there a little bit. Let them just simmer. Okay, now my onions are cooked down a little bit. We'll go ahead and add some tomato paste. Uh, I don't know exactly how much, maybe a tablespoon or two. We'll let that cook in a little bit. We'll cook in for a couple minutes because we want to you know, caramelize that, and get those sweet flavors out of that tomato. It's going to really bring some flavor to it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, see how bright and bright up that onion and stuff is getting. You keep stirring this, I'd say stir around for about two, three minutes. And uh this will really bring some nice flavor to the party. And now that this has been simmering here for about a minute or so, been stirring about two minutes, we'll add some garlic. About six cloves, a nice garlic there. And we'll stir this around. I'm not let it go much longer, about a minute. I don't want to scorch that garlic. Just keep stirring it around. Okay, now that uh, garlic's been cooking for about a minute, you can kind of smell it. You turn it back up to medium high heat, and we'll add about two cups of red wine. Stir this around, and we'll let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, because we want to cook some of that alcohol taste out of it. Let this sit nice simmer. Set the time for 10 minutes. Okay, now it's just cooked, been cooking for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some dried thyme. Just a little bit there. Okay. It'll be real good flavor. Maybe a little bit of bay leaf. I don't have any whole bay leaf, but I've got some of this chopped bay leaf. A little bit of that in there. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. Yeah, that'll be good. Now, we've got a few other ingredients to add. Add some carrots. I've got three just chopped carrots in the big pieces. Like that. I've got some beef broth, about a cup.
sure. Add that in there. Just all stirred around and mixed up. Now all of this is going to be strained off. We're just using all this for flavor, basically. We'll make a sauce. And be, be careful with your wine. You don't want it to really come to a fierce bowl because you don't want to burn that wine. So get all that mixed up in here. And we'll start adding this beef back. We'll snuggle it in there the best we can. Try to get this beef covered in the sauce as much as we can. And we'll let this simmer just for a couple minutes. Then we'll put it in that 300 degree oven and cover this for two and a half hours. It's gonna be real good. Cook that beef down nice and tender. Just gotta let it simmer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, cover it, put it in my 300 degree oven for two and a half hours and I'm gonna actually be gone to work when it's done so what I'm gonna do I have my wife take it out pull the meat out of it you know with the tongs and set that in a uh, you know a Pyrex or something like that and then what you want to do is you just want to put that juice you could strain the juice ideally but I'm gonna have her do that take that juice and put it in the refrigerator and let it cool because I want all the fat to come up to the top because when I get home later this evening I'm going to scoop that fat off, we're going to take that meat we'll reheat the meat, we'll make a good gravy out of that juice you'll see hey good evening y'all got home from work now and we're going to go ahead and finish up those braised uh, beef short ribs so last time checked in with y'all they were in the pot uh, in the oven on 300 and told you to put them in there for two and a half hours so what happened after that my wife got them out let it cool on the counter and took the short ribs out it looks like she may have eaten a couple for lunch see there we got the short ribs there boneless and then she strained all those onions and everything out of the juice and put it in the refrigerator if you can see we got this juice left over with this little fat on the top I want you to take a spoon. This is great. This way it makes it easy to separate. And see how that fat just hardened there on the top? Just set that aside. Alright, we're just gonna get this fat, this hard fat, off the top. Separate this first. Okay, now I skimmed all the fat off the top of this. Set this aside. I'm gonna take, you know, with really clean hands, I'm gonna take this beef here, and it ought to be. Hey, we'll just chop it up. I got a spoon here, and I'm just breaking up just a little bit by a little bit, okay? And just kind of go with the grain. And we're just it's just basically gonna fall apart. And you think it fall apart now? You just wait till it gets in that hot broth, when that fat melts a little bit, and it's holding it together now. It's really just gonna fall apart. All right, so I took that piece. I'm going to take one more little piece here. It's pretty good. She's here. Looks like I'm going to just kind of do this with an order at a time. I'm going to make one plate of it. Another one. Okay, so I've got enough busted up here for a big old nice plate. And uh, now we're going to heat this juice up on the stove okay so now I've taken that that broth or that juice put it on the stove put it on um, just bring it up to heat actually I might put a little stir in there just I would stir this lightly just to there we go put my little root stir in there just let that stir for a minute and let it come up just start bubbling a little bit okay meanwhile while this is 
just bubbling a little bit and I turn down the low heat. I've got about a tablespoon of that fat. I'm going to let melt right here. What I'm doing, I'm going to make a little bit of roux just to thicken this up a little bit. It's going to be real, real good. Okay, so if you can see, I add about a tablespoon of flour, a little bit of that, that hot fat. I'm just going to stir this around for a second and cook it. Brown it down a little bit. I might add, I think this will be good. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of cold water to this, and what that's going to do, that's going to make this a real thick, thick thickness, uh, kind of a liquid, turn the heat off here in a second, and you'll see, we'll add that liquid to the hot liquid. Okay, now I've cooked that flour a little bit, I'm going to add about a half a cup of cold water to this, because if you add this straight to the hot stock and everything, it would, uh, turn the biscuits, turn real lumpy. So we're going to just keep stirring this until all these lumps break up and it comes back to a little bowl and it will thicken on up. Okay, just took a second and see how this is turned real, real thick. I mean like a thick, thick gravy. That's great. We'll going to turn the heat off on this burner. We're going to add this little bit by little bit to this main dish to thicken it up to the main sauce. All right. So we're just going to keep that stirred every couple minutes, just keep the heat off, and that's going to be a thickener. Okay, now that our main sauce over here has had a chance to reduce a little bit and simmer, still on lower heat, turn the heat up just a little bit, medium low, and we'll add this beef. We'll bust it up. That's so good. Okay. Let's we'll stir that around a little bit. Just let that simmer for a second, heat that meat up. Now, so I'm just letting this simmer about a minute. I'm gonna start with this lid on here, just to heat that beef up. That's it. And that should be pretty good. Simmer good. I just wanted to heat that beef through and through. Now I'm gonna turn it back down to low, and we're gonna add some of this this roux mixture. Now you're thinking, well, you put that fat back in there. Well, I'm putting much, and we're not going to use much of this roux. So, let's go ahead and I'll get some out in the spatula here. Start just incorporating a little bit by little bit, just till this thickens up to how we want it to. Let's see. It's almost there. One more. There we go. Let's see, that's really great. A nice consistency. That looks good. Yeah, that's just about how we want it. Just like that. And we'll get ready to serve. You could serve this over rice or eat it by itself or over grits. A particular order here is for my wife and she likes it over mashed potatoes. So we're gonna go on ahead, serve her up some over a bed of mashed potatoes. You can see it's just got its own good gravy and good that beef. It's just so tender. Look, it just fell apart. Barely held itself together. A lot of it's just strings. That's tender, tender stuff right there. That is perfect. You gotta try that. Okay, so let's give it the taste test here. Try with that chunk on the top. Let's see. You can see how tender it is. Just fell apart. It's really good stuff. Hmm. Oh wow. Exploding with flavor. And then again, you can put hot stuff in here if you want to. And this is just perfect. You can taste a barely little, you know hint of that wine, you can taste all that wonderful beefy flavor, it's so tender, it's not chewy or anything, it's just a wonderful dish. We got to try this one, this is one of those cold weather dishes, like a beef stew or something like that, really, really, really good, you got to try it.